Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on one of the specific functions of an HTX powered radio. It's aimed at those of you that are relatively new to HTX, might be coming to HTX from FreeSky, Fataba, Spectrum, or maybe you're brand new to the hobby. Now there are links below to the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget you can find content by just looking for the thing you're interested in and adding Painless360 to your search term here on YouTube. So let's jump on the bench and let's talk about the topic for today. This time it's looking at the system menu. We've already gone through in the series and had a look at what all these different parts of the model menu are all about, but there is another menu in the system. If I just escape out of that, if I press the system menu, oh blimey, we have an awful lot more to go through. So let's go through this because actually the vast majority of the time you're never going to get into the system menu. If your radio is set up and it's working fine and everything you need is on here, then you're very rarely going to need to come into here to do anything with the exception of binding things like receivers. So here on the first tab, and again, you can navigate here by pressing on the individual icons at the top, or you can kind of scroll through by using the backwards and forwards keys on your radio. Again, if you only have one of these, a long press will take you one way, a short press will take you the other. In the tools, these are all the tools that are currently installed on your SD card or the memory inside the radio. So you might have a different list. However, things like Express LRS are probably gonna be there and other bits too. So if I run and click on the Express LRS stuff, it's going to warn me that Express LRS isn't configured, which is much better than it used to be. Back in the old days, it would just sit there and just look blank at you. But that's how we would go in and bind things like receivers. But then we also have other things in here like the TBS Agent Lite, that's the one that I run if I were using Crossfire with the radio. But then we also have things like Yapu Config. Yapu is one of those telemetry uh, widgets that you can put here on the radio, specifically designed to work with things like Ardu Pilot, but is incredibly useful. You've probably seen it in other videos of mine. So in here allows you to kind of get to all those pieces in one simple page, and again, um, color screen it's quite easy you can just scroll around and just tap on, tap on it like you would with your phone or tablet so this is probably where you'd come in for most of the things that you want to do and most of that would probably be things like binding your receiver if it's something like express lrs Next one in the list is the SD card. What we're doing here is looking at all the things on the SD card so we can look at all the images we've got here and everything else. Is this useful? Well, yes, the internal storage and where things are make a difference sometimes. So you can actually check whether or not the things that you need to have be in here are actually in here. So for here are all the wave files for the different sounds that we have on the radio. Next one then is the radio setup. And this is what most people would probably expect to see in the first tab of this menu. Here we set the date and time. We can set the sound with the variometer, the backlight bits and pieces, how the haptic stuff works, where it buzzes, how long the splash screen is displayed when you power on the radio, whether or not there's a startup sound, what the um, owner ID is, the location, all those different things can be set inside this radio. And you need to set them for the location that you're in and the language that you're using. Next one then is called themes. And this is how the screen is going to look, all the different colors. I'm using the default one, which is all these blues, but there's lots and lots of different ones you can choose from, and it will change how the screen looks. You can create your own custom versions of this, but there's an awful lot of standard ones to choose from for all the different pieces. Next one then is global functions. Now, global functions is something that you probably won't get into. It's something that's set up on a radio level. I have never in my 11, 12 years of playing with Edge and OpenTX and previous incarnations ever needed to use a global function. But sometimes they can be handy to do. 
Next thing then is the trainer. So this is where you can set up the ability to have your radio connected to somebody else's radio, either via a cable or wirelessly if it has the equipment inside, so that you can uh, give control or take control from another radio if you're teaching somebody to fly or if you have multiple radios connected together so that maybe in a very large model, maybe one of you is driving the RC tank, the other one is controlling the turret and some of the other smoke effects and things like that from another radio. That is absolutely where you set it up in here. Last couple then, there's this one, which is the hardware, which is where you set what the normal battery range is, calibrate the battery, uh, what kind of internal radio frequency and external radio frequency stuff you have in here as well. And then finally, you have the information panel, which just tells you what is actually installed. This is really important. If you can't remember what Edge TX version you have or those kind of things, or even what versions are on things like the modules and receivers, it can all be done through this screen. So in reality, the ones that I use is this one here, and most of the time that's using the Express LRS one here. I've not currently got that set up to go in and bind the receiver and change the speeds of the link. The rest of the time, I never bother with the system menu. It's all done in the model menu. But be aware that those are those two separate things. That's why we have these two buttons at each side. And now you have a rough idea of what the system menu is, what's in there, and where you're going to go to set up a couple of things. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.